Hey GED students, I've got another brain teaser here uh, to develop your algebraic reasoning skills and that is our question of the day. So let's take a look here. Um, it's a fidget spinner um, equation really. So I see here that I have two black fidget spinners and together they equal 30. Um, now you can imagine that these black fidget spinners you know, there's some number that they represent. Well, let's think about it. If, if I have two blacks, they're the same. So they're, we're going to assume they're the same number. They're equal. And so I need to break 30 into two equal pieces. I'll divide 30 by 2. And that's what I'll do first. Let me grab a different color than yellow. Okay, so I'm going to take this 30 and divide it by 2. 30 divided by 2, well, 2 goes into 3 once uh, with a remainder of 1, and 2 goes into 10 five times. And if you're wondering what I just did, it's not called long division, it's called short division. It's a great little trick for division. So uh, each one of these must then be worth 15, and of course 15 plus 15 is 30. Great. I'm going to do the same thing here with the next one, because once again we see two blues adding together to make 20. Two blues make 20. Well, if I'm going to, I could take that 20 and divide it into two equal groups. 20 divided by 2. I don't have to do any side work for that one. Those must be 10 each. Same thing for the next one, my red fidget spinners. Well, if two of them together equal up to 8, then it must be 8 divided by 2. These must be 4 each. 4 plus 4 is indeed 8. Great. Let's go ahead and put our numbers on here. So my black is worth 15. My blue is worth 10, and my red is worth 4. And now, just about 99% of students are right up till here. I've n not met a whole lot of students who get this part wrong. You guys are good at the algebraic reasoning part. But then where you usually go wrong is you forget that math does not necessarily move from left to right. When you are simplifying in math, that means you're performing the indicated operations, like here in this problem, it's addition and multiplication are the indicated operations. So when you're simplifying, you're performing those operations, um, you are supposed to use the order of operations. Whenever there is more than one operation, you must refer to the order of operations. You do not necessarily do math from left to right. You do it in the order of operations. So first step in the order of operations is always any groupings, which, yes, includes parentheses, but there's way more types of groupings than just parentheses. Second step to the order of operations is always have any exponents. So remember, exponents are your little floating numbers, your powers, but also your um, roots, your radicals. Okay, It's uh, powers and their inverses. And then the next step is multiplication and its inverse. And its inverse is, of course, division. Uh, and it's not until the very end where you do addition and subtraction. So in this problem, I only have two operations. I have multiplication and addition. But as you can see in that order of operations uh, that I just wrote out, the multiplication should come first. You should do this math first. Uh, 10 times 4 is, of course, 40. So what I'm going to end up adding here is I'm going to add this 40 together with that 15. 15 and 40 gives me 55. If you got it wrong, it's probably because you added first. You're like, does the order really matter? Yep, it does. It'll give you a different answer. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED or math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.